it's Carrie with the Rick Hendrick Home Selling Team over at Chasewood Realty. So today is going to be my final video in a series that we created based upon this free report, 27 Tips to Get Your Home Sold Fast and for Top Dollar. So like I said, this is going to be the final video in the series. So rather than make one big, long, boring video, we have segmented the tips into shorter segments. Okay, so if you want to check out that playlist for the home selling tips, be sure to check this playlist out on our channel. Okay, so like I said, today is going to be the final video on the 27 tips. Okay, so because your home is one of your largest assets, selling it is a very stressful process. So that is one of the reasons that we did create the free report on 27 tips. So it was our hope that through these tips, you've better understood the home selling process, all right, and it's become less of a hassle for you. Um, maybe you've gotten some great ideas on how you can maximize the sale price when you do decide to sell. So today I'm gonna to be highlighting the final three of the 27 report. All right, so number one, maybe the buyer is not qualified. Number two, ensure that the contract is complete. And number three, please resist deviating from the terms of the written contract. So number one, maybe the buyer isn't really qualified. If you do feel like the offer that you received was inadequate, now is the time to make sure that the buyer is qualified to carry the size of mortgage that the purchase of your home is going to require. We do need to inquire as to how they arrived at their figure and suggest that they compare the price of homes in your neighborhood to yours and then kind of figure out how is it they arrived at the price that they are offering. Okay, so maybe they do have unrealistic expectations and they are hoping to get a $400,000 house for $350,000. That is the exception. Most real estate agents will not work with a buyer with such unrealistic expectations. So for the most part, okay, the buyer who is shopping in your price range is qualified. But that is a key thing for you to discover when you are negotiating is that the buyer could possibly not be not be qualified, um, and then just to vet that from the uh, lender of the buyer, um, just to make sure that we do have a good understanding of whether or not the buyer has the capacity to purchase your home and to carry that mortgage. Number two, ensure the contract is complete. To avoid problems, ensure that all the terms, costs, and responsibilities are clearly spelled out in the contract. Okay, it should include such items as the date of the offer, the names of the parties involved, the address of the property being sold, as well as the legal description taken from the deed, the purchase price, where's the deposit money going to be held? That should be spelled out in the contract. The date for the buyer's loan approval, the date and place of the closing, the type of deed that will be conveyed with the sale, and it should include any contingencies that remain to be settled and what personal property is included or is not included in the sale. Okay, the third and final tip I have for you today is to resist deviating from the terms of the contract. For example, let's say that the buyer requests a move-in date prior to closing, just say no, and that you've been advised against it, Okay, now is not the time to take any chances of the deal following through. With that said, though, if there is a date in the contract that both the seller and the buyer agree to extend, they can do so. However, it needs to be in writing, it needs to be signed by both parties, and it needs to be distributed to everybody involved so that they can stay on the same page with what's happening with the contract, okay? So I'd like to say to you today to thank you so much for watching our video. We really do appreciate it. If you find this video helpful and you've gotten something out of the tips that we've offered, please check out our playlist for home seller tips below. I'll put a link to it. And then you can check out this playlist here for additional tips and then this video on more tips that'll help you get more money when you sell. Again, Subscribe to our channel if you'd like to get notified of upcoming videos. Be sure to click the bell.
Thank you so much. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.